hello today in this video i'm going to talk about the job profile it's a quant job profile uh, at goldman sachs uh, which is one of the most you know popular financial service company in the world it's uh, it's a job profile uh, at their asset and wealth management department um so it's uh, yeah it's a job profile uh, for for a role uh, at their office in new york in united states but goldman sachs has offices uh, you know in many parts of the world in london in singapore hong kong in in bangalore in india and they do hire quants in all these uh, locations so such positions uh, do uh, you know come in in the job market uh, in all these places right not just in new york but you can also find such position in london and bangalore uh, in singapore and its places as well right so uh, <coughs> it's in the asset and uh, wealth management by the way right they do have a trading department as well uh, and and I, i'll talk about how the job role actually you know uh, differs uh, when it comes to you know uh, being a quant in a trading desk and and being a quant in 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 asset management which is uh, somewhat different uh, than uh, let's say hft type uh, roles right so it's um, it, it's it's a role in the asset and, and wealth management and first you know, the job description starts with what it is about you know it it's it's uh, about you know investing in long term uh with a long term philosophy right so the word long term makes uh, the huge the, the big difference between working as an hft and working at an asset management firm uh, like this um so you are not going to be uh, you know building algorithms that will uh take the advantage of short term pattern in the in the markets or in in the in the prices of the assets it's about forecasting uh, long term performance which is quite different actually you know uh, as compared to you know finding pattern short term pattern in the financial market which is uh, very different um all right and uh, yeah they have all kinds of clients they have pens- uh, you know clients uh, uh, like the institutional clients like pension funds sovereign wealth fund insurance companies and domain funds and and family offices and etc etc uh i think they don't manage uh it wealth of retail people right I, i think they do manage um wealth of highly uh, high net worth individuals uh, ultra high net worth individuals but not uh, retail people i think i'm not sure though all right so um, yeah then it starts with uh, the you know about the team okay um and and they do have quant teams in all the businesses um they have uh, you know different kind of businesses right they have uh, investment banking business they do even have a retail uh, banking business many people don't know but uh, uh, goldman sachs does have a uh, retail uh, banking business as well but the primary business is uh, investment banking wealth management and trading right they move into the more uh, fancy stuff uh, and not uh, you know less into the retail banking stuff uh and they do have their quant teams in all these all these uh departments right uh all right let's uh, go straight into you know the requirements okay we'll come to about the you know the obviously in any job profile it starts with what uh, the company the a bit about the company bit about the department and uh, and then you know uh, is talk about what what is needed right so <coughs> if you're going to be working as a quant right quant strategist in in such a department what are the skill set needed and what kind of people they're looking for right and it's it starts with like this within goldman sachs asset management quantitative and engineering strategists are at the cutting edge of a business solving real world problems through a variety of analytical methods working in close collaboration with the portfolio managers across different asset classes their invaluable quantitative perspective on complex financial and technical challenges power our business and investment decision as a member of our team you will be using advanced uh, yeah you will use your advanced training in mathematics and programming and logical thinking to construct quantitative models to drive our success so yeah it it's a quant role so you'll be expected to have a strong mathematical and programming background uh and as expected this is uh, also a very um, 
dynamic and fast paced environment that's also something they have mentioned um whatever your background you will bring a fresh perspective and unique skill set to your business so they don't care too much about uh, your background as long as you are strong in mathematics and coding right and then they talk a bit about you know how uh, yeah like w- w- what is the day to do work right you may work on portfolio construction strategies as a quant you may discuss portfolio allocation problems with your fellow quants you may build models for prediction you know and do data analysis and so on and so forth so there may be a, a number of types of work that you may be doing uh, some may be less quantitative than others some may be more programming focus than the others i know some people who are more into doing automation activities so they are more like software engineers with a bit of you know uh, touch on the quant side but there are also people who are more in in, in working in st- as strategists that means they are more analytical people they really want to they, they really work on just uh, you know building uh, models and less on let's say um, doing automation activities although most of the roles will be a bit of both right you, uh, yeah but that's with that's with every place in anywhere you work as a quant and you'll you'll find people who are more software engineers than mathematician and there are some people who are more mathematicians than uh, software engineer so and you'll also have uh, you'll also come across people who are good in both and in some cases you will also come across people who are bad in both all right um and they're looking for uh, individuals who have strong coding and analytical skills passion for use of tech to solve business problems um although the work performed by this team is financial in nature applicants need not have specific knowledge of or experience to apply that means they don't expect you to have good knowledge of finance or risk management uh, as long as you have a strong mathematical and uh, coding background uh, they are willing to hire you but let me tell you that uh, in practice that actually not the case right when you go for the interview uh, you mm. will be asked questions on uh, some finance you may not be an expert in some asset class let like you may not be an expert in in swaps or you may not be an in expert in interest rate derivatives uh, or uh, let's say corporate lending but uh, you will be asked question related to you know the basic questions related to financial assets you will be asked questions related to macroeconomy you will be asked questions related to um, the basics of finance accounting and all that uh, that may not influence the final result but uh, having knowledge of that uh, helps so uh go with some preparation even if you are very strong with mathematics and uh, and coding still read at least read some you know basic finance books or read the wikipedia articles that's the bare minimum you can do uh, on different finance topics or investopedia articles you know um that should do the job in my view right so what are the responsibilities right working closely with the portfolio managers to build quantitative models and tools to streamline portfolio management process so that could be one work working with the portfolio managers portfolio managers are not necessarily the quant people but you will be helping them you may not take decisions directly but you will be helping the managers uh, portfolio managers uh, in taking better decisions through data analysis right Uh, developing sustainable production system which can evolve and adapt to changes in a fast paced global environment so once the model is built it has to be then uh, deployed right so deployment or doing the automation activities uh, can also be uh, the kind of work that you will be working on uh, developing quantitative analytics signals using advanced statistical quantitative or econometric technique to improve portfolio construction process now some of the keywords here mentioned that statistical quantitative econometric well both statistics and econometrics both are quantitative so they do not need to mention the word quantitative as such but i think the point here is that you should have strong background in theoretical mathematics theoretical areas of statistics and math, uh, econometrics this is one big difference i have said this many times on this channel that if you are going for a quant interview uh your knowledge of just a uh, high level machine learning will not be sufficient you need to have you know good amount of knowledge of uh, 
theoretical statistics inferential uh, statistics you know sampling theory you know strong background in regression modeling uh, econometrics techniques causal modeling right um, all these techniques will be uh, you know very very useful time series modeling all those things uh so it's not just about uh, you know uh, doing uh, you know trying all kinds of ml models and doing cross validation assessing the error you know the ml techniques and uh, popular obviously now it is becoming more popular in the field of finance but the more uh, popular techniques are the ones from econometrics right very similar subject academic subject but uh, the modeling uh, the way you build models in econometrics is somewhat different so make sure that you have uh, studied some financial econometrics okay uh, developing rigorous and scalable data management so you'll also be working on on data so it goes without saying you should be familiar with uh, the relational databases you should be familiar with uh, sql uh, you should be familiar with uh, all kinds of uh, big data tools maybe i mean it it's good to have but in, it's not a prerequisite i would say i mean if you have worked with scala and all all those things i think or other uh, hadoop and all that is it's a good thing developing quantitative risk analytics in factor models market risk counterparty risk and liquidity risk right so they uh, not just build models for uh, you know alpha generation that means models which are built or strategy which are built to generate uh, profits uh, or to beat uh, the market but they do uh, build models also uh, on assessing the risk in in the portfolio uh, in term also to assess the potential losses in the future also to assess uh, you know what how much um, capital internal capital they must have so that they don't go bankrupt in in situations uh, in in adverse situations and these things are important from a regulatory point of view. Goldman Sachs is, is a bank. They do have a banking license. So they are under uh, quite heavy regulation uh, in the US, but also in other jurisdiction, jurisdiction, other countries where they are located. So they will have to uh, comply to that. And even for those regulatory reporting, they have to build these risk models, right? Different kinds of risk models could be a market risk model, counterparty risk model in the case of derivatives liquidity risk models as well interest rate this i'm sure treasury models and so on and so forth so the list goes on transforming concepts and ideas to robot software leveraging object oriented and functional programming languages this is an unique thing about uh, some of these uh, financial service company where you expect the quants also to be software engineers right you not just have to develop algorithms build models but also uh, being really good at uh, being a uh, software developer, you must have experience uh, working on object-oriented uh, programming languages. Um, I, I get asked this question by many engineering graduates, computer science graduates the, who reach out to me that you know they do have IT or tech background. How do they transition into quant finance? Uh, will their previous experience will be counted? But let me tell you that your not your ex previous experience will not only be counted; it will actually be you know um, given a lot of uh, value actually uh, in fact that will really help you so having a tech background uh, always helps right uh, if you have ever done software development that experience will help you immensely in the in your uh, transition to quant finance uh, so yeah so that's something to keep in mind um, but if you are a mathematician or a physicist whenever uh, written a full fledged software right will you still be hired uh, i would suggest yes go for it uh, i have had the experience that some people coming from a theoretical background like uh, mathematics or, or or physics were really good in mathematics but probably not that great in uh, developing softwares they often get these programming questions in the interview and they get rejected but that happens most uh, mostly in the back offices like in bangalore in india but if you see in new york and london that's not the case but even in in bangalore right i know people from uh, from research background who work there if they take your interview they will probably not uh, reject you just because you are an average coder but you are a great mathematician okay uh, but unfortunately uh, well i wouldn't say unfortunately but there are many you know tech guy also right who probably care less about your mathematical skills but they do care more about your coding skills 
uh, and in some cases you'll you'll be having trouble if you don't have a strong coding background all right what qualification they need right they need to have a quali uh, background in mathematics engineering physics computer science with preference given to masters and phd in in cold max sax india they don't care about masters and phd but i think um, in other locations especially in london they yeah they almost never hire just a bachelor guy um they only prefer masters and phd uh, all right all right and even if you're not coming from these backgrounds you have an economics background you you can still apply right i know many you know in fact one of my uh, my, my junior he's uh, she's working at goldman sachs you know she doesn't come from a physics maths engineering background she has a background in uh, economics and she's working as a quant there so that's also possible proficient c in one of the programming languages uh, general purpose programming language such as python or java any of that will uh, do uh, goes without saying you must be a good communicator you should have strong communication skills you should be able to write well and speak well uh, in a way that people can understand you uh, short and concise communication is appreciated uh, you need to need not be a marketer you know not no need not be a great storyteller but you should be able to write and and speak in a way that people can understand you um yeah goes without saying it it it's also a uh, yeah a kind of role where you need to be a good uh, team player you need you will be working in a team you won't be developing models all alone by the way you will be collaborating with a lot of other people so that's quite important you have to be a self starter uh, yeah these are these are things which are expected um yeah in 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 all kinds of jobs this role is not expect exception yeah they even mentioned the salary range it's somewhere between 115 to 180 right that's quite good right that's best salary i guess right and on top of that you will have the discretionary bonus uh, towards the end of the year depending on your performance and that probably will be i don't know how much that is in goldman sachs but i assume that's uh, quite good unlike in europe they don't have bonus cap in the us so you could also make quite good money uh, right all right it's uh, what is not mentioned is that you yeah there is no mention of your experience previous experience that means if you are a student they are still fine with it uh, if you are experienced professional couple of experience years of experience in other industries you may have worked in tech you can still apply at this uh, at this uh, role right so that's something unique about this uh, normally uh, you won't find uh, you know such job description in many banks uh people will be very particular about whether you are a fresher or experienced guy and the job description would uh, differ a bit right whereas they are bit uh, flexible with this okay so that's uh, something i wanted to talk about i will talk about more job description in the f- in the future uh, if you have any particular demand let me know in the comment section but thanks uh, for watching thanks see you in another video guys